And welcome, dear friends, to the Thursday edition of Fresh Bread. This is Reverend Phil Anderson here, pastor of Oakland United Methodist Church and Kansas Avenue United Methodist Church here in Topeka. And I did hear from at least one person, and uh, we do hope to keep these going. As I uh, had mentioned the other day, these Fresh Bread daily devotionals take a little bit of effort, and we want to encourage other people to listen. So if you like to listen to them, encourage other people to do this. I would like to eventually get these out in a little different format that would not be quite so uh, time-consuming in terms of the production, and we could also leave them online in a more permanent fashion, hopefully, so that people can go back and listen to different things. And Maybe we could put down the topic on a little title. I mean, there's a lot of opportunities. So much of it's just time consuming is really what it boils down to. And there's just so much to do in such a limited amount of time. But that being said, if this is a ministry that we can utilize, I'm all for it. I want to talk today just a little bit about things that we probably need to be doing in our churches and that we don't always get to talk about a lot because, again, time just doesn't seem to permit. And I will say that some of these discussions are ongoing. They're just in right now our team meetings that we have, certain uh, groups that are moving forward in some ministry areas. Nothing goes quickly, I've found, when it comes to starting up a ministry, and that's probably as it should be. We really want to wait on the Lord and pray about it and make sure we kind of have things thought through, and I think that's fine. There's no problem with that. But I remember the four areas of concentration or emphasis that we looked at back on February the 19th at our ministry fair. We had about 15 people there, a couple from Oakland and the rest were from Kansas Avenue. And some of those are actually moving forward now. So the four areas, if you don't remember, they were number one, I believe as a top priority is children, family, and, and youth. Those are our number one priorities right now. And that's probably going to take another person to come in and help out, quite frankly, to get that off the ground and to really do the things we really ought to be doing is probably going to bring somebody else into the mix. So that's one area. The second one was evangelism and outreach. And that's where we continually seek to make relationships with our neighbors and to get to know them just as people, maybe as friends. And we believe out of that, some will actually come to church, but it's a long process. It's just not something that we put in the microwave and it comes out completely done in a few minutes. It's going to take a lot of time and, and diligence and there's no guarantees. That's the other thing. There's just absolutely no guarantees, but we will do what we can do to follow the leading of the Holy Spirit and do the things that we believe will be honoring to God. So that's the second area again, is evangelism and outreach. Third one that we identified was worship. And that's a bigger one because that's really going to entail a a bigger view of, of what we're doing now and how we can do it differently. Maybe hold on to what we've got and add something. Maybe it's just changing up everything. Or it could be integrating some things into what we're doing, especially maybe with music or technology. And so that's going to be the one that's going to probably be the longest work in project progress. And yes, that will probably take some funds to really bring it up off the ground. And then the fourth one that we mentioned was this one called congregational care. A lot of that's already going on. We just need to coordinate it. That has to do with reaching out to neighbors and friends, especially those who are in the church and have been members of the church. Maybe they are homebound or they're in nursing homes or They've been in the hospitals where they just haven't been able to get to church. And that's where people, I believe, are already doing this to some extent. We just need to organize it a little bit so that we can really have a more efficient plan of action as far as reaching out to those in our congregations and follow up on their needs. And that takes a lot of time. So those are things, all of these, that the lay people of the church can do. And I want to equip them to do it and put them in charge of these teams so that this can be a sustainable effort that we do. I'll talk more about this tomorrow on Friday, so don't be late. Be right on time for our fresh bread tomorrow on Friday. Until then, have a great Thursday. God bless you. We'll look forward to talking to you then.